Hi, this is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy, and this is our third and final lesson for our Green and Sustainable uh, series to help us create our own lead dream home. Uh, we have a lead dream home contest, which means you would create a uh, dream house that is also good for the environment and submit it before, before February 28th, and you too might win a laptop or a notebook, so I hope that inspires you. Now, our lead dream home series or this green and sustainable design series didn't do everything, but it goes into some good hints for uh, making a lead dream home. And today we're gonna play with solar panels, uh, how you might place them and uh, some editing information. Solar panels typically could go on the ground, on an array, but most of the time they go on the roof. We see them on the roof more than not here in Arizona. On our roof too, I want to kind of keep the solar panels in this area because we did a cantilever or an overhang without a balcony here so we could enjoy the ocean view. So one of the things we need to know is the angle of the roof so we can place some, I, um, some panels there. So I am, whoops, we put something there we didn't mean to. We need to get into the select mode. We'll select the roof and measure is such a powerful tool. We're gonna select this grip go to this grip and you can see third item down angle 2657 that's going to be important if i want to place uh, solar panels on the roof i need to know the angle of the roof so let's go ahead into objects and you can find so much here so many things and it also searches on the world wide web we're going to say solar and it's still searching out there but we're going to select this solar panel here we like that one. And what you want to make sure you do is go to parameters. This is a good user hint. Take a tilt angle and change it to 26.57, which is what we just discovered about the roof, the angle of the roof. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to place this right about there. And let's take a look at what we just did. So you can see that aligned that nicely. That aligned that very, very nicely. It's because we found out that information previously. So if you're trying, there's a lot of different ways you can attack things. And if you've tried other ways, this is probably the easiest way you'll ever find. And of course, you don't want just one solar panel. You need several. So we're gonna go to the arrow again, edit mode, select the panel. And then I'm going to use the grip, and I just, our pal went away. There it is. And what we want to do is we multiply. I'd like to have 10. And I'm going to drag it. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to say this is my reference. I'm going to head this way straight. And... I'm going to put about four feet between it. So I'm going to do distance, put in four and enter. And let's take a look at that. So you can see you can easily, uh, really easily uh, put in multiple objects by using specific tools. Now, if this is your roof too, you want to put on an, uh, probably another row of them. And an easy way to do that would to be, let's do the arrow tool again, let's select. And I'm just doing multiple copy by uh, holding down the shift key. You can make groups, you can marquee, you can do all kinds of different ways, but that worked for me. And now I'm gonna select a grip again, and we're gonna use again that multiply. And this time we're gonna say one, and I'm gonna drag it. But now you have to make sure that you drag it straight. It has to be exactly straight. It can't be at an angle. So when you get it straight, I'm gonna do a distance of eight between them. And now let's take a look. And I would say that that looks really nice. So if you are trying to do something like this and you've had a lot of issues and trouble, 
this might be an easy way for you to accomplish putting solar panels on your roof. This is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy. Thanks for listening.